Thanks for watching, here's what sold for me recently. Picked up these navy blue crocs at a yard sale for $1. The bottoms, especially the heels, were pretty roached, but they still sold and the customer loved them. I put them on sale and they sold for $25.49, and I did free shipping for the buyer. This awesome vintage ashtray that looks like it's from the 70s sold for $31.99. Which is not too bad for paying 25 cents for it at an estate sale. Shipping was free for the buyer. Unfortunately, the ashtray broke into pieces during shipping with the United States Postal Service, so I refunded the customer, filed a damage claim and am still waiting for a refund. If I had lungs, I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for the refund. This Puma bag was a surprise to me. Not only was I surprised of its condition, but also what it sold for. It was in excellent condition, and I picked it up in a bulk buy from a storage unit seller, so it cost me $1. It sold on sale for $47.99, with free shipping for the buyer. I sold this beanbag version of the Jetsons Rosie the Robot for $16.99. It was from the Warner Brothers store and still had the tags on it. I purchased this from the same storage unit seller that sold me the Puma bag. We did a massive plush buy, so she only cost 50 cents. This Holly carburetor has a little drama attached to it, I paid $10 for it from a gentleman that went with a bigger carburetor size. It sold twice, the first buyer purchased it, installed it and then messaged me and said, wow, this works like a champ, my car never ran so good. Then a week later. The buyer's nose grew and opened a defective item case, and sent it back to me. When I received the return, the box was wet and full of gasoline from the item, luckily it didn't catch fire on a plane or in back of a mail truck. What's worse is the first buyer knew there was gas in it and put a bunch of fiberglass insulation around it, my best guess is that he thought the insulation might soak up the fuel? Anyway, cleaned it up drained the remaining fuel, listed it for parts only, and it sold right away for $110.49. I haven't heard from the second buyer as of this recording. This item took a while to sell. It was a vintage USI laminator. Picked it up at a yard sale for a dollar. I tested it worked great and it sat on a shelf in the shop for a year and a half, before the buyer paid $144 for it. Hey, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this type of content, I made a playlist here for you to watch. Enjoy!